Welcome to this video against Joel from India, young player. And um, let's see what kind of mistakes he maybe does in the opening or in the game. Um, he's 1800, so I think pretty good for his age. And c5, Tarash defense, or maybe Shara Henning Gambit if he takes on d4. Um, let's see. So far, nothing new. Um, here we make this intermediate move just to, to force him to play the bishop to d7. Um, the bishop is not that good on d7, so he he loses at least a bit of time to 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 yeah place his pieces harmoniously. And okay, this is not that common. Normally you take just on d5. Here maybe I can just exchange uh, this important knight and just, you know, further exchange pieces to um, get rid of some pressure. Yeah, but here d6 is in the air, right? Yeah, this looks very strong. So he needs to take uh, move the bishop back and... Um, yeah, and here I think he just overlooked that I can take here. He takes, and I take with check, and then I castle. Um, so the game is over. Let's see. Did I overlook something? If he please plays uh, queen e7, I'm, I'm, s I'm just taking here on f6. Here's a check now. And yeah, I think castling long is bringing in my rook and attacking the knight here at the same time. And well, I mean, I'm simply a piece up, um, not even for a pawn or something, it's just one piece. So, well, we will exchange pieces now. Um, at the moment I don't need to take the knight here directly because it cannot move anyway. The rook would be hanging. And yeah, I want to develop my pieces here. Knight f3, e4, bishop maybe. Okay, he gives up here. Yeah, but I mean he was down a whole piece, so it was a one position. And um, yeah, I mean I'm not sure if you should play a gambit or something like the Shara Henning gambit or other gambits if you are not familiar with the opening at all. And here he, I mean, he, he came out of the opening. Um, it's just it's, it's just opening theory here, everything. But he he shouldn't um, uh, play a knight f6 here. He needs to take on on d5, and um, yeah, then it's a simple simple game um, where Black has some pressure some initiative but white is a pawn up and you need to defend for a while but um, yeah especially in a long uh, game over the board game it should be uh, quite good for white this is why the, the, the opening is not played that much by black strong black players but here after knight f6 I think uh, yeah this is a, and, and especially knight uh, bishop e7 uh, the game is, is already over. You need to take care always about the threats your opponent has and here d6 was very important to, to look at this and um, yeah he needed to move back but who wants to move back um, then this maneuver was uh, you know a waste of time but sometimes I mean it's better to waste time than to lose the game immediately so bishop e7 was a very hard mistake, very strong mistake, uh, not strong, very bad mistake and he needed to play um, bishop f8 here and yeah so sometimes you just need to uh, uh, be realistic and say okay I did a mistake and then uh, try to make the best out of it instead of uh, yeah playing something that uh, obviously loses thanks for watching